that the forest is one of the hidden gems in Kenya. On the northern slopes of Mount Kenya, you will find a small forest. It's slightly above 5,000 hectares and it has all the wildlife that you can want to have as the big five, among others. And we have very interesting sceneries and spots in the forests that one can visit and have a wonderful experience. Uh, starting from the rock climbing, where we have the rocks where you can come with your gear and do the rock climbing, to the hiking in the forest, to walking over the canopy walk and coming down through the platform. And that is one of the longest uh, bridges of our forest. It's 450 meters. And also we have a wonderful attraction in the forest. We have the blue pools, naturally blue, six pools and a waterfall. My name is Peter Kiklanen. I'm the manager of Ngaradare Forest Trust. And uh, as a manager, I'm in charge of planning all the work that happens around here, of organizing, of directing and controlling personnel, and also coordinating all the day-to-day -day activities of the running of the affairs of the trust on behalf of the board of trustees. As a, as, as, as a trust, um, I am the CEO and I report directly to the trust management, which is the board of trustees. patrol in, in the park and also uh, to patrol and to interdict any information in the park. So here I am now in the canopy walk. It is where we handle visitors. Uh, we normally uh, brief them how was the canopy walk and also to mention about the distance of the canopy walk. Uh, we, we are now in, uh, on top of the canopy walk. It is a bridge on top of three canopies. That's what, why it's called the canopy walk. It's uh, 450 meters long, 30 feet high. It's uh, one of the highest and the longest canopy walk that we have in East Africa. It was built back in 2008. The purpose for the construction of the canopy walk was just for tourist attraction. And whenever you're in the forest, as you walk through the, the canopy walk, you can miss to see animals, mostly elephants at the end of the canopy walk where you have the swampy area. They usually come to out of the ground to smear mud on themselves and drink water so that to, they cool their body and to keep away the insects. Now we are set for the day trip, for the day normal work. The first car is going for ecotourism issues and the second is going for the patrols. For today, our patrol will be based on charcoal burning, illegal activities, and any other activity that will come across us. Thank you. In Mtego, by Ukuo, when we die, you ku Winda nyama yote yule atakuja closet sana sana dovu nyati na mnyama wote kwa sababu huwa wanatumia hii ku wakipata hiyo mnyama ndio wanatumia kwa bush meat bush bark bush bugs ilad wanapatikana sana hapa kwa msitu so tumedisnea na tunafuata sasa tuone kama tutapata hiyo mtu ama kama kuna mali nyingine ameweka mtego kisi mnyama atokee usikimbie unaweza kimbia mnyama mmoja tupate mali pabaya so you just wait for instructions before to enter kwa maji or let to know if anyone under medication and time health condition right 
Unaenda kwa hizo pools ama the goons. Na ziko deep because they are natural pools. And for the swimmers, no kuberi or gele. For the non-swimmers, you don't allow them to jump into the pools because they are quite big. forest mimi tunafanya kuchukua tunaenda kichaka tunachukua miti mbegu tunakuja hapa kwa nasari tunapeleka kwa seed bed alafu kutoka kwa seed bed tunaweka makaratasi mchanga alafu tunachukua hiyo makaratasi na kupanga na kuweka hiyo seeds kulimia kuweka maji hadi ukue mkubwa ikifika kiwango ya kwamba hamna mvua tunaifanyia root pruning hiyo ni ku transfer ndio mizizi isichimbue chini tunaihamisha naipeleka pengine mvua ikinyesha tunaenda kupanda mstuni tuna hata ya kupanda huku kwa communities ambapo huwa tunawauzia mti mmoja tunawapea moja hiyo tunaiita program ya one for one um, my name is Joy Namenge I'm the ecotourism coordinator working in the Gandai Forest Trust. We have a table. Uh, it's called a game viewing platform where you can sit, uh, have picnic and also view animals on the ground while they drink water or feed. We also do bird watching for those uh, uh, people who love watching birds. Gandai is a place to be. We have over 200 species of birds including the Narina trogon, it's, it's very elusive, and also the Hatlab Sturaco, it's an endemic bird in Africa and we got it in the forest. We also have endangered species like the Colobus monkey, which is found in the forest. You also have uh, the elephants, the black rhinos, uh, buffaloes, you can also find them in the, inside the forest as part of our, the wildlife we conserve, and uh, visitors can get to enjoy. Um, we also have uh, camping, we do forest camping, we have a uh, basic campsite with facilities. Uh, we also provide uh, firewood for the bonfire, for those who would love to do a bonfire. Another activity we offer is the rock climbing for the experts and the, those who love extreme adventure. They can also visit Garendare to do rock climbing. We advise visitors to do an advanced booking before coming to visit the forest to avoid any inconveniences. 
and also to help us to plan on the, the range and the guide who are, who, are, who are going to take you through the activities. Normally you can do an upfront booking at least two to three days before coming and uh, you're required to pay at least 50% deposit. Um, the number you can call is uh, 0700412532 or you can send us an email through bookings at ngarendare.org or if you have any questions you can also check our website at uh, www.ngarendare.org the proceeds we get from the ecotourism, we normally turn it back to the communities and we have uh, six communities surrounding the forest who actually benefit from the forest. Normally after every KCP, we take two students who are needy and they have done well in each of those communities and we sponsor them throughout their secondary education and we are looking into further supporting them throughout their uh, university if they have done well to pursue their education. We are looking forward to having everyone come and visit uh, the forest and have an authentic experience under the slopes of Mount Kenya.